So I'm pretty happy with that cross. I might move all these guys over and we'll get on to our last adjective, um, which was a pinched geometry. So I'll go and type in pinched, like that. And to create our pinched geometry, we're going to take a look at the stitch tool in the sub D uh, modeling catalog as well. Um, I'm going to start with a primitive, and for once, I'm not going to start with a box. I'm actually going to go and start with a sub D plane, and I'm just going to make the X and Y count one and one, and we'll just model a little plane out here like this. Oops. So. What I'm going to try and do here, I'm going to kind of do this pretty quickly. I'm just going to pull out a little bit of this geometry. In fact, maybe what we do instead actually is we'll model our plane and we'll give it an X count of three and a Y count of three like this. And I'm just going to delete the middle um, of that geometry like that. So I've got a bit of a hole in it. Might make the hole slightly bigger than what it currently is. Um, and I'm going to move it up a little bit. And we're going to extrude these three faces downwards like this. I might move them across. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Just get those three edges again and move them across. So we're starting to get a geometry that starts to look a little bit like that. And then I'm going to extrude down again and I'll move it across here. And what I want to do is actually Try and align this guy here, this guy over here. Oops. So we're almost aligning to the edges. In fact, we can align to the edges. So I'm going to use a just a normal Rhino tool uh, command because we are able to actually manipulate our sub D geometry with very typical Rhino um, controls. So I'm going to use the set point command in this instance, and I'm going to align the points of this um, edge here to what looks like the Y axis, so I'm going to set all the Y's. No, it's the X that I want to do it, because they're all at this X value, that's right. And that'll just nicely align it to um, that edge, but on the same plane that I had before. I can do the same thing with this guy. And then I'm going to move this one out a little bit. In fact, I want to move him in. I think I've put the wrong ones out for my pinch geometry. Yeah, I have a little bit. So how's that looking? It's not bad. Maybe what we want to do is just give a little bit more breathing room to these vertices here, like that. So we're kind of getting this funnel that's coming through in our pinched outcome. I'm going to rotate that guy by 45. And then once again, I'm going to use a um, more typical Rhino command, which is going to be the mirror command. So I'll just mirror. Um, that guy here, and now we have two separate sub-D geometries. But what we're going to do is we're going to stitch up these edges so they become one geometry, we can, and we can use that by using this stitch mesh um, or sub-D edges tool up here, so I'm going to click on that. It's going to ask me um, the first set of vertex set vertices or edges, so I'm going to go with these three here and hit enter, and then these three here is my second set, and it'll go and stitch those guys up nicely. And I'm going to do the same thing for the top. So I'm going to hit enter again, or we'll just click on it. So stitch. Oops. Is that the first set, which is those three? Hit enter. Select the second set, which is not that one. Those three. And we'll align it to the middle here, like that. And now we've stitched those two pieces of geometry together and we've created kind of this kind of pinched outcome. So to accentuate the pinching of this geometry, I'm actually going to um, pull in these edges a little bit like that and really get a pinching outcome coming through. Maybe we can pinch these guys in as well. And then just for you know, argument's sake, we've got this kind of like pinching idea coming through. I want to potentially pinch these edges in a little bit. So a lot of your sub D modeling is tweaking um, aesthetic changes based on, you know, the design intent you're going for. Um, you could even start to think about, you know, giving this a little bit more form. So 
maybe this guy could go upwards and then these ones could go down so it's almost a bit more of an undulating effect or maybe they could go up depends on what you want to kind of get as an output here maybe you can get a bit of asymmetry through those geometries as well like that and there's our pinch geometry cool So there's our collection of final geometries that we've gone and created. Um, and hopefully that's been an interesting crash course into some of the sub-D tools that you can use in Rhino. Um, following on from this, I'd highly recommend you try and pick your own adjectives and go and you know practice with some of these tools we've looked at in this course and see if you can create your own um, little geometries as a good exercise to get familiar with the sub-D modeling toolkit in Rhino.